Okay, Richard, um, can you just start by telling us your name, what type of artist you identify as, and where you're based out of? <sighs> My name is Richard. Uh, I took that name from the boy who in the parlance of this broken world took my virginity in high school. I take his name, therefore I take myself. I am an artist who names things, namely reality, the day of our everyday. I work on all planes, but I live in this body in Portland, Oregon. Uh, some would call what I do photography. Awesome. Um, and how would you describe your work to someone who was unfamiliar, both the, the composition of your photos and the meaning behind them? As I said, I'm an artist that names things, and I've been thinking lately about the first naming that we all undergo at birth. We name the space around us with our first cries, the literal signing of our birth certificates. I give birth to my reality every day. I name it by calling it into being. Therefore, I capture it in photos. Amazing. So, Richard, what do you think it is about your current series that's resonating so deeply with folks both in and outside of the art world? Uh, well, I've, I've had shows, public-facing shows in the past, of course, the typical who's who of being who we are, etc. But my current show is not public facing. It is a deeply personal conversation between I and the woman I love. Daily I birth the reality of my love and passion for her and I capture it on film. It is for her and for her alone. I'd say, if anything, my work is underappreciated by the public. Oh, okay. Um, well, I, I don't want to invade your privacy at all, but if you are comfortable, um, would you want to share a little bit more about this woman? Would I be off base to call her your muse? <laughs> uh, my muse? Um, <laughs> I would say, Genevieve is not my muse, she's... Genevieve is my destiny. Can you start by telling us your name, where you live, and what you do for a living? Uh, my name is Genevieve, I'm a writer, and I live in Portland, Oregon. And do you know why we asked you here today? Yeah, I have a, a pretty good idea why. Uh, right, so just to reiterate, to make sure we're all on the same page, um, originally Hot Peach reached out after one of the birthing photo texts went viral. Um, we assumed the Instagram account was a collaboration project between you and Richard, but we spoke to Richard today and it appears she's not a conscious participant in the Instagram uh, project. So, I guess we're here because we want to give you the opportunity to explain what's going on. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, why don't we start with how you and Richard met? Okay, um, well, I met Richard over the summer. Um, I just had moved to Portland, so it, it was probably late August. Um, I was doing a reading, kind of my first local reading, here in Southeast at Hotbox. Um, and it was, it was actually Richard who approached me um, after the show. She just walked up and handed me a piece of paper and said, please call me and turned around and walked away. 
um, which at the time I thought was a little weird, but I don't know, she seemed interesting. So I did end up reaching out to her and we did go on a date, but um, after that date I was not interested at continuing anything with her. Like not even friendship level. Okay, but from my understanding you did continue. Um, can you explain how you got from being totally not interested to managing Richard's social media accounts that she come to find out has no idea exist? Uh, yeah. I feel like no matter how I explain this, I'm gonna sound like a dick. Um, but, so after the date, um, which I walked out of, basically Richard was propositioning me to come back to her house to take a photo, which is like a, just by itself, a pretty sketchy thing to ask someone who you barely know. But um, on top of that, the photo that she wanted to take um, was to capture the process of her birthing me. Um, so I basically said no thank you and left. Um, and I thought that was it. But then um, probably three days later, I got a text and it was from Richard and it said something along the lines of, um, or actually I think I have, I think I have it in my text still. Do you want me to pull it up? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, um, so she said, I give birth to our story followed by this photo. So whose decision was it to start the Instagram page? Um, it was me. I mean, it was my decision. Um, I probably wouldn't have gotten there on my own. Um, I had sent Richard's first text to, in a group text, to some of my close friends back home. Um, and I guess that's probably where all of this started. But, um, but it was me who started the Instagram page. I mean, I take responsibility for it. Uh, what was going through your head when you, you posted the first photo? Did you consider the possible repercussions? Um, it sounds stupid to say now, in hindsight, but at the time, I didn't consider that anyone would even see the photos outside of my friends. Um, I had no idea that the public was going to respond to her photos the way that they have, and I don't know, I feel like I created a monster and I really just, I don't even know what to do. What do you see as possible next steps? Well, I mean, that's kind of why I'm here, you know. I, I was hoping that I could just shut it down and walk away before Richard found out about it or anyone else found out about it, but obviously that's not an option anymore. Um, but the other part of me, like, kind of is starting to see the good in it, you know. Like, she has om over a million followers right now and there's galleries, like really big galleries that are, that want to show her work. So I just have no idea how I would even start that conversation with Richard, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, well, I can make it easy for you. Um, I'm meeting with Richard for our final interview tomorrow and, um, just from a journalistic ethics perspective, if you don't tell her by then, I'm, I'm going to tell her.